All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er video. All right, there's this sentiment going around that this is somehow the 49ers' last dance. We'll talk about that coming up next. But first, we're brought to you by Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Check them out. They're in Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. or until they run out. Check them out. Get some brisket. Get some brisket chili. Uh, say hi to Damon and Mary. Tell them that Larry Kruger sent you. And this video is also brought to you by our good friends at Sharp Corner Sports Cards and Collectibles. They're at 205 Cypress Avenue down in Pacific Grove, California, along the Monterey Peninsula. Call Anthony Catania at 831-521-5264. All right, let's talk a little bit about the 49ers. Uh, I was driving around today, listening a little bit to KMBR, and Mike Silver was on there with his son. And Mike is is going with this notion that the 49ers are in a last dance type of season. And, of course, that being the reference to the uh, documentary, the 10-part documentary on the Chicago Bulls final season of their dynasty. Um, and I would just push back. I would push back on the whole last dance thing. One, I mean, out of respect for, you know, the Bulls won all those titles. They The Bulls won five rings. Uh, the 49ers have won no rings. <laughs> you know, they've they've won no rings. So this is you might want to you might say this is their last best chance to get a ring, but I don't know that this is um uh you know you know the last dance kind of suggests that they've been on top and they haven't been on top. They've been close to the top, but they're still a, they're still climbing the mountain. So that's one major difference. Um, and I understand the the theory, right? It's like Purdy's on the last year of his rookie deal. He's making nine hundred grand. He may make forty five million next year. He may make fifty five million next year. He may make sixty five million next year. And and the the he, there's a huge difference there between the nine hundred thousand and whatever he's going to make in the future. And there's going to have to be you know cap accommodations. They're going to have to go with some younger players. They're going to they're not going to be able to go with the, as many veteran players. And there's probably going to have to be some some cuts. Uh, to get in line with the cap in the Purdy era. But to me, one, I kind of believe that you're never really in a last dance kind of situation if you're drafting well. Um, like if, if you say, give me an example of somebody that might have been in a last dance situation. The Cowboys in 1995, when they had already won two Super Bowls with Jimmy Johnson, their core was getting older, the cap was, you know, was getting was was right there and they were you know they had too many players and they were going to lose a lot of their players because of the salary cap um and they'd already won two rings and they had this collection of the same guys and now they had Barry Switzer as head coach and they found a way to win a third that was a last dance of of Jimmy's guys you know and and they got it done and sure enough they won the Super Bowl um that's a last dance type situation a championship team that, you know, gets it all revved up one more time. Um, you know, when the Warriors beat the Celtics a few years ago in the finals, that to me was a last dance type situation for the Warriors. They somehow got into the playoff tournament and found a way to be the last team standing, despite the fact that it was a trying year and they probably weren't the best team in the NBA that year, but they were the champion by the end of it. So I don't know. I would push back on the last dance thing. The other reason I'm pushing back is look at the 49ers. I mean, their quarterback is 23 years old, going on 24. The head coach is, you know, one of the youngest and best head coaches in pro football. Um, he's not going anywhere. Y your Super Bowl window, to me, is only open when you have a Super Bowl caliber coach, which, in my opinion, they do, and um, a Super Bowl caliber quarterback. And in my opinion, they do. And how many teams in the NFL have that combo? To me, that's where the Super Bowl window starts. We can talk about other positions, Trent Williams at left tackle, and you know, George Kittle's getting older, Nick Bosa's getting older. I mean, you know, nothing lasts forever. But to me, your championship window is determined first by do you have a head coach? who, um, you know, can, can do it, you know, is, is, is he a, do you have a top tier, top tier head coach? And, um, there's a lot of people that believe that Kyle Shanahan is as good a coach as there is in the NFL. Um, 
a lot of people in Ninerland are upset because he hasn't gotten the Super Bowl yet. But uh, I think if you back away from the emotion of it and look at things objectively, Kyle Shanahan's a top five NFL head coach, and he's not anywhere close to being done. So you've got a young head coach who's one of the best going. Uh, you got a young quarterback who, since he came into the league, has got the number one passer rating in the league and really high stats across the board. I mean, he may not be Patrick Mahomes, but he's a whole lot closer to Patrick Mahomes than he is to being not good enough to win a Super Bowl. Um, so you've got the quarterback, and he's 24, and you got the head coach, and he's not old. Uh, to me, that's your Super Bowl window right there. But if that was it, the Niners' Super Bowl window would still be open, but that's not it. Um, you know, I think if you say, you know, what is the Niners young core to me, you know, your young core is how many guys do you, how many ascending football players, ascending good football players do you have in your team? Guys that are re- literally getting better and just a quick perusal of the Niners on, on the offensive side of the ball, young core players that are getting better. Brock Purdy, JP Mason, Isaac Garendo, I believe Cody Schrader, Aaron Banks. Spencer Burford, Braden Willis, Jacob Cowing, uh, Ricky Pearsall, Dominic Pooney. And that's just 10 right there. That's just on the offensive side of the ball. Young players that there's lots of reason to believe are getting better. Let's flip the card and talk about the defense. Now, the, I would love it if the defensive line had two or three guys on it, and they really don't. Um, I have, though, as far as young, ascending, core-type players, on the 49er defense, Nick Bosa, uh, D. Winters, Jalen Graham. I still have Fred Warner on this list because I do believe Fred's got a lot of football left and he's still relatively young. Uh, Malik Mustafa, Jair Brown, Demo Lenore, Darrell Luter, Renardo Green, Talanoa Fonga. So, I mean, right there, and there's a few more on this team besides the ones I've named. Um, I think I think Womack is a really good young player. I think there's a number of really good young players on both sides of the ball that aren't on this list. Um, so there you go. I mean, I are the Niners in a last dance type of season? One, I just, I, I mean, it's it's a great dramatic thing to say in July of 2024 going into this year. But let's write down who's saying that. And then come back to, to July 25. And are they going to now be writing articles? See, if you're going to say that this is the last dance, then in July of 2025, you almost have to be writing the article that says the window's closed and the Niners are no longer a championship caliber team. If, if you're going to really say that 2024 is the last dance, then 2025 is after the last dance. And the Niners can't be a contender. And you know what? Do you believe that? Do you really believe that a year from now we're going to get to training camp and uh, the Ford Niners are still going to have Kyle Shanahan, still going to have John Lynch, still going to have Brock Purdy, still going to have a passionate fan base and a determined ownership group, but they're just going to be, you know, a, a clear step below the title contenders. And they won't really be that, you know, they, they'll, they won't, we won't consider them title contenders a year from now. And I'm not buying that at all, at all. So I would push back uh, hard on the people that say, hey, this is the last dance. This is the last dance. I get it. And it, it's un- it, I understand exactly what you're saying. You're saying, hey, this is the last year of Purdy at 900 and change, and you're going to pay him, you know, 60 next year. And that means there's going to have to be all kinds of, you know, the, the huge checks of the world will no longer be on this roster. You'll be going with Garendo. You'll be going with younger players in a number of key spots. You may not be able to re-sign Banks. You may not be able to re-sign, re-sign um, Mooney Ward or Demo Lenore. I mean, there's a chance that you're going to have to take a step back on some of these signings. And that just means you're going to have to be better in the draft and better after the draft and better at putting together a roster. But realistically, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to give you a hundred bucks and we're going to have a wager here. You can either wager that next year, the 49ers are we're going to go we're going to be at this exact same point in the schedule and we're not going to think of them as a title contender that they're just going to be another team in the NFC that's beneath the top rung of contenders and that the, and and that the this 2024 
is the last go round um, with this group to win a title. And going forward, 2025, there'll be no talk of titles. No, the Niners will be like some second class citizen. They won't. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Ten good offensive players on uh, that are young on defense. Ten young core offense of uh, defensive players. You know, you got you got 20 guys right there on a 53 man roster that are young ascending players and you have a good young quarterback and a good young head coach. And you're telling me that going out after this year, because you may lose Trent Williams, that suddenly the Super Bowl windows closed. And last year, meaning 2024 was the last dance, not buying it, but tell me what you think. Uh, I'd love to hear your guys comments below. Tell me what you think is 2024, the Niners last dance, or are you with me? And you think that, you know what? Um, that's being over dramatic and that the 49ers are going to be challenged on the cap in 2025, but I expect them to still be a Super Bowl contender. Do you uh, tell me what you think below? Thanks to pig and a pickle for being the title sponsor of the Krug show. Thanks to sharp corner sports cards and collectibles for sponsoring this video. Thanks to all of you guys for supporting the Krug show on YouTube.